Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So today we're taking a break from building functional rockets and we're doing a little modeling project. So in honor of the uh, 50th anniversary of the moon landings coming up this month, I decided to build a scale model of the uh, command module and the uh, launch escape system from the uh, Saturn V rocket. So as you can see here, I've already gotten a, a pretty good start on it. There's still a lot of work to be done. So I figured I'd take out the camera and start recording. So what we've got so far is basically just the top part of the, 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 the launch escape system. So this is the drawing I've, uh, I've been working off of here. Uh, as you can see, we've got everything on the drawing just in three separate pieces. And all that's left is to build the command module down here. So I've already uh, drawn up some plans for how to go about building the thing. But before that, let me show you what we've got. Um, so most impressively, I think, in my opinion, is the uh, actual launch escape uh, rocket. Uh, this part here, in including this part, it's all machined out of aluminum. These four nozzles, also made out of aluminum, they thread into this uh, little bulkhead here. And then the whole thing screws together, just like that. So attached to the bottom of that. I've got a uh, truss structure which I just welded up out of some uh, cold rolled steel and some uh, TIG filler wire and made that little structure there. And then this little cap that uh, attaches to the top of the command module is actually made out of wood which is the same material I'll be making the module itself out of. Same thing with the top piece here. This is just another piece of wood because I couldn't didn't want to spend a ton of money and make a super heavy aluminum structure. So that'll get glued on just like that. And here you have the whole launch escape system rocket. Now as you can see I've already painted uh, all the pieces in a white color but then I had to like epoxy everything together so I'll be good once everything's assembled I'll be going over it all again and doing a final uh, coat of paint. But first we've got the um, module to make. So for the module, I'm going to be making it out of this big old piece of uh, red maple burl. Not because I'm going to be able to see any of the cool burl patterns, but just because it's the only piece of what I have. It's kind of a waste, so I chose like the worst looking area out of this whole plank. So hopefully it won't be, uh, I won't be giving up too many beautiful burl patterns to the paint. Anyway. Well, how it's going to work is it's going to be made up of three sections, uh, like the A section, B section, and then the heat shield down here, which we'll uh, cover later because I'm still kind of figuring out how to do that. But the way it's all going to go together is I'm going to cut out circles of the specified di diameters here just so I have lots of room to work off of, throw it on a lathe, and then clean it all up, clean up the faces, and then there'll be through holes, a tiny little through hole through the whole thing, so I can put a wire through, make a little like jig, and then glue it all together. So I'll make the um, two round bits, glue them together, and then come back, cut the tapers, and then epoxy in a nut right there, where this will be able to screw in. And that's how that assembly is going to work. And then similar, similar thing on the heat shield. I'll carve out the heat shield and then it'll kind of glue up into the bottom of there and then we'll sand it all. So I'm going to try not to talk too much more in this video because I know I talk way too much in these things. So basically you're just going to see uh, the, building pro the building process. Hopefully you'll be able to follow. If there's anything that needs explaining I'll explain it but for the most part enjoy. Thank you. 
here's where we're at so far. So as you can see, uh, everything's been glued up, taper's been cut, I've lightly sanded it, and then there's just a little recess in the top with a nut. It's been epoxied in, and that just lets the cap of the command module and the whole launch escape system just screw right in like that. So that's pretty good. Um, the more eagle-eyed uh, viewers out there may have noticed that I have thus far neglected to add the skirt around the uh, launch escape motor nozzles. And that's really just because I'm still figuring out how to do it. Uh, I've cut a little uh, template, a uh, little uh, cold rolled seal cone, and I thought this would work all right, but I just I'm not quite happy with how it's bending. It doesn't look completely like smooth and stuff, and the diameters are a little bit wonky. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is just weld this up because as you can, I haven't even welded it together yet. So weld that seam from the back and then maybe find a way to put it on a mandrel on the lathe to stick it on here, but that's not super important. So I'll just see if I can knock that out real quick when I have uh, some spare time. But for now, the next step is to do all of the detail work on the capsule, like the doors and the windows, and at least start getting those marked out so I can carve them in with a Dremel and then we'll go on to the painting.